The cuts have begun. Unfortunately. We got main roster cuts, including Mustafa Ali, who was scheduled to face Dominic Mysterio for the, I almost said All-Atlantic title. North American. North American title. Well, he was going to show up on Monday. Yeah. He's going to show up on Monday, but then he's he's got a championship match. He's already, he had it, not anymore. Mm. And uh, also cut Aaliyah, Rick Boogs, Uh. Elias, Riddick Moss, Top Dalla, Shelton Benjamin, and Dolph Ziggler. And, uh, you know, I don't like to see anybody get cut, but I can't remember the last time we saw Aaliyah or Riddick Moss or Elias or Shelton. Ziggler made like an appearance once or twice a few months back. Boogs made an appearance or two. Man, Elias, this guy. It's like Vince didn't want to do anything with the guy, and then Vince was out, and then Triple H didn't want to do anything with the guy. And then Vince came back. It was like this guy had no no chance, mm-hmm. so he's gone. And uh, and then I guess we'll see what happens. But the word in WWE is that uh, there's expected to be a number of cuts from NXT coming up later this afternoon. Now maybe it won't happen today. Maybe it'll happen tomorrow. I don't know. But the belief is that like a lot of cuts are coming. Now what does that mean? Does that mean they're going to cut Noam Dar? Well, NXT cuts includes the people that are in developmental. And we talked about this months ago, months and months ago. Their new deal, before there was ever a sale or anything, was every six months, it's evaluation time. Every six months. And they're going to look at everybody. And I don't know if it's like, can this person main event WrestleMania? Because that's ridiculous. But if you're not like moving along, if you're stagnant, you're out of here. And so I would not expect, like, big names to be cut necessarily, but they could. But my guess is that it will largely be people in the system. They've been there for a while. They don't appear to be showing a lot of... But they can't bump, they can't roll, they can't do this, they can't do that. Well, not even that. It's like if you've been there for a long time and you still are exactly the same as where you were two years ago... I mean, you could be on the chopping block, well, and I there are people it. like that. Well, yeah. I mean, we talked about one in particular yesterday. He was a tag team partner of somebody you think is going to be a big star one day, and she very well may be, but she has been at the same level for a long time. I do, for humanity's sake, worry about people like that, but I also think about all of these NIL people that they keep putting in, and NIL is not going anywhere because kids want money to just visit college campuses. So you're going to see NIL money continue on, and WWE is going to throw it out there, and they're going to bring people in. And I think there are some people where it's like, okay, you know, we got a little bit of a look at you, but if you don't have the aptitude for this, you know, I think you're quick and out of there, you know, with a lot of the people that have been there. I think it's a lot of people that have, we've seen on the main roster, same sort of way, where if you've been forgotten about, if creative has had nothing for you, if you've just been in the, you know, stuck in the mire for a while, I, I, unfortunately, I would be very worried right now. And then we got more business news. The Hulu deal could be coming to an end. Some WWE content on the service showing it will expire in the coming weeks. Hulu support was asked. They responded to a question on social media regarding this. Stated, its streaming rights with WWE expire shortly. So a lot of deals coming due all at the same time. Which is uh, very beneficial for WWE. As uh, they're, you know. Hey, we're going to know what their worth is. Yeah. I mean, it happens every time, dude. Every time there's like a contract year. They happen to magically be up year over year. It's incredible. It's incredible, the uh, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to say it's a coincidence, but I mean, it's, not, it's not like they try to be down year over year. It's just like they're always trying to be up. Hey, and, Brian. you know, they were down, 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 down. And then the last contract year was like, what was it, 2018 or something like that? 2017 when they were negotiating? They were up. Well. And then they signed, and then they went back down again. And it was like down, down, down. And then, you know, we're in a a contract year. And guess what? They're up. So it's pretty impressive. Ever since they had to crawl back to USA after Spike, you know, that was the last time. And I know there have been, you can debate from business purposes, but from there it has just been working your way upwards. And 
they call it a contract year in sports. You know, that last year, somehow, some way, you know, the guy who's been hitting 220 and, you know, striking out more times than he gets on base, all of a sudden is hitting 330 and has got 30 home runs and 30 stolen bases. That's what WWE has been doing it. They've been stealing it, you could say, but they've been doing what they need to do. And the NXT is interesting because NXT could always fall back and have a home on on the WWE network. I don't think that is anywhere near the chance of happening, but it is interesting if a say Fox, let's say they decide to swi- uh to to switch it over Disney, let's say buys the rights to Raw and wants to put it on FX. If they decide they don't want NXT It'll be interesting to see. Do they offer it as a discount back to USA? Do you want to put that on an Apple as opposed to and get money there as opposed to keeping it all for yourself and and putting it on WWE Network? I I don't know where where you go with that. Same thing when it comes. Well, to here's the thing. Next... Here's the thing to me. Okay, obviously for Raw and SmackDown, you want the biggest visibility. SmackDown, obviously, if they could have gotten this deal to stay on Fox, that'd have been awesome. If they can get a deal for CBS, NBC, ABC for Raw, awesome. You want to expose it to the largest number of people possible. NXT, you don't need to do that. So if USA if USA says, you know, we'll give you uh, forty million a year for NXT, and then uh, Amazon goes, eh, hey, we'll give you eighty million a year. We want people to you know get into this Amazon streaming thing. Take the deal. It well, doesn't here- matter if people don't see these guys on NXT. For some of them, it'd probably be better. That's that's true, and you can make that case for that. What's? Let me ask you this, because I, it would be financial suicide and malpractice to your shareholders if you don't take the biggest deal. But I was so curious, with a lot of people talking about SmackDown being the show that maybe gets picked up by an Apple or wherever, and it goes to streaming, it's like, that's bad. Going to cable is, to me, bad because, again, the network still has power. How Fox was able to promote that show with the NFL, with college football. I mean, for Fox, they don't care. They're going to put college football on Friday night next year or whatever. They couldn't care less. But but WWE misses that. And if you go to a streaming service, I mean, again, we've seen a lot of these numbers. They don't get anywhere near what cable gets, anywhere near what network gets. And no, that's they don't. a concern. And that's a concern when it comes to well, Raw or anybody. Because here's the thing. Do you take a gazillion dollars to be on Amazon or do you take well, less you, money you, you have and to, keep your visibility on you have the to biggest weigh networks? If 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 Fox says $1.8 billion for SmackDown, and, and Amazon says $1.8 billion for SmackDown, you're a maniac if you go to Amazon. If Fox says $1.8 billion for SmackDown, and Amazon decides they're going to give you $3 billion to go to Amazon, you go to Amazon! Well, that's see, the that's way like to going do it. to Saudi Arabia because you're just a slave to that dollar. But I think sometimes in the urge to get rich, you forget about how people are consuming, truly consuming this content. And you may be overrating your ability to lead them by the nose to a streaming service that they'll have to pay for because you can't even take them by the nose and get them from Fox to FS1 when it changes there. So if it goes to somewhere else, this is all very fascinating. And again, this may be, again, I, look, the money doesn't get smaller, I guess. So they're always going to continue to make big money, but it'll be interesting to see if like percentage wise, this is the best they do for a long time because of all of these options, probably going to have to consolidate over the next couple of years. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.